this is my saying. Hello, Mr. Yeah, hello. We are today in the Ballet Gallery to uh, make a preview for your next show yeah. that we will show uh, online, uh, which is called Microscopia. Microscopia. Microscopia, yeah. Because we wanted to take the idea of a microscope, zooming in yeah. on small details, and making them appear bigger, like a hidden world uh, which only exists in imagination. Because I think that's the two main themes of uh, the artwork we present of yours, yeah. just imagination and the small details, natural elements, which are highlighted. So, Fisal yeah. Swift, you were born in 1984? Yeah, correct. In Malaysia, exactly. Yeah. And you, um, you were trained at the UITM, yeah. where you achieved your degree in 2013? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. But not that far ago, it's a young artist. Yeah. So, um, ever since you finished your studies, you had uh, exhibitions. Yeah. When I look at your resume, it's incredible. Solo shows, uh, yeah. not only in Malaysia, yeah. but also across the world. I've seen Bangladesh, Germany, Tokyo, United States, uh, yeah. Japan, yeah. German. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very, very impressive. <laughs> Such a, a consistent career. Um, we also had an, our first exhibition in our gallery, yeah. the Red Gallery, 2016 which was called Hidden Treasures of a uh, uh, Natural World. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not the first time we, we have you here. We've been working since uh, 2012 uh, with, with Patrice. Yeah. It is seven years. It is seven years now. Yeah, yeah true. It is seven years. The first uh, group exhibition is yeah. here in the gallery. Yeah. And the first solo show in 2016. Yeah. So w what is it like for you to have this consistent um, Career of yours going on. Uh, this, does that change something for you, or is it still um, uh, you're just focusing on your work? Uh, how how do you how do you say how do you cope with this uh, consistent uh, evolving of your career? Actually, I can consider myself as a constant gardener. <laughs> constant gardener. <laughs> a constant gardener. Which I is not only gardener. Sure. I'm working on a piece of land, but me is working on my piece of artworks. Okay. So I love to deal with the nature and uh, nature, natural beauty and then something which is very close to me and then because of my background, even though when I was in Kuala Lumpur, I was looking for a place where, which is in a green area, Yes. a place where the river, something close to the nature, I cannot simply rent a place or having my studio in a big city or for example in a uh, middle of uh, Kuala Lumpur because for me it's very stressful because uh, I'm, 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 I'm actually um, love to stay in a um, very calm and very peaceful right, place. Very well. yeah. Yeah. So your studio is uh, outside? Kulula. Yeah. Where? Kulula. In Kulula. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But you're often in Lumpur, right? Uh, yeah, we are actually I'm often go to Kuala Lumpur because uh, normally the exhibition will happen around uh, and then, uh, yeah. Actually, I cannot um, uh, stay um, in Johor or somewhere far from Kuala Lumpur because I think Kuala Lumpur is quite vibrant and then we need to stay and then we need to um, work in with a place where I'm not so far to, to the city. Yeah, sure, sure. And that's why uh, I, I choose uh, sure. to reside in Mulan because normally in Mulan, it's like a village uh, in Kuala Lumpur. I mean, it's like yeah. true. It's true. It's like be being somewhere uh, far away, but it's yeah. very close to the yeah. city. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Um, I wanted to know, yeah, because you have also um, uh, you're not just an artist living uh, uh, somewhere in nowhere doing your work, doing your business. You're also very active in um, in associations among filmmakers, for example. Yeah, you you handle the studios, collective studios. Yeah. Yeah. The, the collective studio is recently we uh, uh, collaborate with the other two artists, which is Bayu Tomo and Samsudin Wahab. And then we uh, focus on a filmmaking studio, which is the uh, Instagram filmmaking. We try to make the studio accessible for artists and also uh, art lovers. 
which is we wanted to preserve the beauty of printmaking itself. Yeah. Normally, when we talk about printmaking, they will downstandard the you know the level because normally in Malaysia they only support paintings, but it's not true. printmaking and also sculpture. And I was wondering, how did you came to printmaking as an actor? You are um, a multimedia artist. You do a lot of different yeah. stuff. You draw, you paint. Wow, you yeah, that's true. You do happenings as well. You did that in 2016 yeah. in the gallery. Yeah. So you're not only working with printmaking, but at the core, you are printmaking. Yeah. So when did you discover printmaking, and what was it about this? So when did you discover printmaking, and what was it about this process, this way of making art, which interested you in the process? Why Actually, for printmaking, at first, uh, during my study in diploma, in 2000, 2002, I was in Malacca. Okay. Diploma study. At that time, I was uh, failed the subject of printmaking. And then I was extend my printmaking subject for almost one, one semester, which is good fun. And then during that time, I was learning something that the beauty of printmaking is like, I cannot imagine. Because normally, printmaking, deal with the you know, element of surprise and something which is I cannot, um, you know, we, we cannot expect that something happen, something, sometimes it's uh, make us down, sometimes it's impress you, because uh, normally the, the discipline was um, trained me to be very consistent, to be very uh, patient, to be very um, tough. I mean, which is, um, so, that's why I, I, I love the discipline of printmaking. So, from the printmaking, actually, it's not, not just making a print itself, but printmaking can be like 3D, uh, 2D, or installation, sure, sure. Uh, conceptually. Sure. So, actually, I see. that's why I, I, I further my master's in printmaking and technology. Okay, yeah, that's why you want to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's why I finished my. I see. Yeah. But so you were, you already were interested in printmaking before you studied. Yeah. What, what, what was your first encounter with printing? Was there a context or uh, where did you have this idea of, oh, I want to become a printmaker, artist okay. printmaker? Okay. How did that happen? <laughs> uh, during that time, I was um, interested because I was having a practical training with my master, which is Mr. Johari Sai. Okay. He's one of my uh, Teacher, mentors. Uh, he also my, one of my mentor, and then I was doing a practical training with him. That's why I learned printmaking more because the, the way he taught me in, uh, in school and after the school is very di different. Actually, it's a, it's a professional artist who it's yeah. like a mentor mentee yeah. kind of style, which is uh, very intimate, very um, you know, very close. It's like we share the, the knowledge of printmaking is beyond. Like we learn from the school. Okay, so you, you, uh, you mentioned this idea of a printmaker is it's um, collective imaginary. Yeah. Prior to being an artist, it's yeah. a work. Uh, I mean, printing is uh, uh, you have to go, you have to have work. You, yeah. it's, it's a useful activity, right? Yeah. So using this in an artistic context, it's uh, I think it's very interesting, and it's not that common uh, actually. Actually, you can count the printmakers in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but you can count it by hands, <laughs> and then that's very hard to find a you know a very professional printmaking studio in KL. It's true. That, that's it's why true. we try to make a collaboration, collective project with Bayou and Samsudin. We form the studio of printmaking, okay. Cheta Plus, to preserve the beauty, to preserve the tradition of uh, making prints. Of making prints. Yeah, which is not very developed here. Yeah. In, 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 and yeah, in, how, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> in Singapore, we have a STPI, yes. Singapore Tyler Print Institute. But sure. in Malay, in, in, I mean in Malaysia, there's no um, institute. Institution, yeah. There, so yeah, yeah, there's no yes. association as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. But you can uh, study it in uh, UITM or a design college or mm. cycle college. But okay, there's a few ways to reach it. And how do you make prints? I have no clue. Yeah. This size. Because your work is usually very big, yeah. you you like large scale. How do you do? Do you have machines? Do you have? Oh, actually, I do have an etching press. Okay. But this uh, work is the yeah very uh, fit narrow. Yeah, very fit. Yeah. 
maybe because of technical wise uh, yeah actually this is a subject of a suit a bamboo suit but i i am not doing it like uh, you know copying it recipe yeah, yeah of course yeah. Yeah. sure sure i i make it with the sure. texture the <laughs> symbol of it's like a, you know it's a code how to preserve how to know the the you know the the, the story about the how how many years that the the i had the, the ground the, yeah, the ground the yeah, yeah, existence so. to to uh, yeah to see how the layers yeah. the layers tell the, the story yeah. The, yeah i see this um, this way of, of uh, measuring time measuring uh, the hidden significance i see so but that's what I call as well extended printing, right? Yeah, extended printing. How, how I, I try to make, uh, how, how I challenge myself. Normally, we wanted to make a printmaking into another level, which is you can make a huge piece, but using a printmaking method, which is uh, you can make a um, series of the work that you apply with the technically printmaking method methodology which is uh, the the you know the the, the process the, the process of making print is imprinting yeah imprinting uh full touch print i see transferring I see. with the ink with the rollers i see and then the, the, the interesting thing is uh you make the work in open space sometimes i make my work during a rainy day but not so heavy rain but very, it's like we call it Malay dream is a very small ring, it's a few drops, and then I make a rubbing, okay. uh, rolling the ink on top of the dry land, uh, soil. Exactly, yeah. because you, you also do this on rocks, yeah. on bark, yeah. 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 take rock elements, and that's how you get the texture as well. Yeah. Because yeah. it's something very really specific in your art. Yeah. It looks like sponge, it looks like moss, it yeah. looks like bark, yeah. this, um, this prints of element of. Um, natural uh, materials yeah. which are um, printed into the canvas it's very a fascinating process yeah so also it's linked to this um, to this thematic of your work yeah. which is this um, fascination for for little elemental details for example uh, mushrooms mushrooms yeah little germs yeah. little uh, bacteria smooths it's always this kind of microscopic that's why yeah. we choose this, this Title, right? Elements which are displayed in huge formats. Yeah. Yes, this, this fish as well, just <laughs> to finish it, because I love this one, uh, which is called, um, uh, I don't recall the name of the Ikan Dan Lao. Yeah, which is a fish in the sea. The fish in the sea, yeah, which is a, a fish this size, I guess, printed on three and a half meters long, yeah. which gains another dimension. So then we see those things, of course. Yeah. Of course. Talking about nature. Uh, I think this is the main theme of your work yeah. since you start. I have never seen any piece of art of yours which is not related somehow to nature. But what is nature for you? It's not, it's not only, as we said, like now, um, the result of nature. It's almost as if you try to, to seize the process uh, of generating, the, the generating uh, nature. You know what I mean? For example, uh, when, when First, that sweet paints um, a landscape of a forest. You don't paint the abundant greenish forest. It's not how we do so, for example, you know, those uh, beautiful, uh, uh, powerful natures. It's not that. It's the bare land with some seeds inside growing. That's what you focus yeah. on. Uh, it's how the nature builds and processes. It's never nature as a result, it's always as a process. That's correct. Actually, I, I look at nature is like, uh, you know, it's uh, actually very related, related to people, I mean human beings. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, for me, actually, I, I, I see that nature is very, plays an important role in my art, art career. Even though I, when I was uh, looking for a studio, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking for a place which is very, okay. yeah, yeah. And then I actually, it's very, for me, it's very important for me to absorb. The you know the the elements the you know the the nature beauty and then actually it's like a metaphor for for myself and people around because we have to see things very um, details 
when, when you see the small things, which is actually it's, it's, it's very it's, it's actually it's very huge. Mm -hmm. When 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 we see uh, when we try to you know, for example, I try to um, connect it with what happens in current issue now. They are talking about politics. They are talking about very huge things, but they are forget the very small thing, the basic things in their life. They are forget this something which is very important to themselves, but then neglected. Mm -hmm. you know? yes, but sir. actually, I I look in the nature is like a metaphor for myself. Okay. Because I, I came from a very small seeds and then I came to this earth and then mm -hmm. actually uh, I will I, I, I'm still remember that my my fathers we are working on a on a land and then my fathers always remind me that you need to make something good for yourself like you did like you planted the seeds or if you wanted to make something artworks or something uh, wanted to paint or paint something you should put something knowledge or something like people can remind about something about you, you know a beauty of nature or something which is philosophical yeah it's true you have always this um, in the titles you choose yeah. home uh, for example yeah. there's always an idea of um, of moral virtue it's it's um, yeah the the morality of, uh, of someone who as you said in agriculture someone who plants a gardener there's always this wisdom of the gardener in your world is that what you mean yeah. this philosophical approach of persistence of humility of uh, yeah this is the process you, you try to convey right i don't care my work for example this to be pkp or mco um, i should work every day of course. no matter how my work sell on the important of for artists is you should keep on working, working you practice working, practicing yeah. making producing producing uh, because that moment that you paint today and tomorrow is is actually different that's why i make the work in outside yes uh, it's captured the you know the the, the moment the air, the ambient is sometimes because uh, normally in Mulanga it is very humid, mm -hmm. and then sometimes you can listen to the sound of nature, um, birds, yes. insects, of like course. crickets, mm -hmm. because it's it's, it's uh, you know it's a very intimate um, atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, atmosphere, and then you make your work very you know sounds beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you have focused your know, yeah. Almost meditate, meditate, yeah. meditate, right? yeah. meditation, right? Meditation, yeah. That's what I mean. There is this one um, uh, art piece of yours which I really like, yeah. and it's called uh, Diam Diam. Oh, Diam Diam. Yeah, which yeah. we present in the exhibition as well. So this is, um, um, I will describe it very briefly. Yeah. On the left, you have a, 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 a face. Yeah, you have a face of someone. <laughs> Yeah, because this is interesting. Yeah. And then there's the body, and the body becomes a forest. And there's a lot of blank space. So you, you get the idea of someone dreaming, yeah. and, it, and the nature builds up by itself. And of course, the face, there's long hair. It looks like a woman, so you could think of uh, Mother Nature, all this uh, significance. But also, it's not that clear if it's a woman or a man, right? It could be you as well. Yeah, actually, it is. I think, I think it is, right? My, my portrait, self-portrait. Exactly. I was laying down and looking for the <laughs> sky. I was imagining that I was in a, in a place where full with the... Um, actually, the, the work is inspired from a Malay proverb. Okay. Diam diam kopi perisi. Which means? Which means uh, uh, you need to... No need to shut out or... I mean, you need, no need to talk too much. Yeah. But you have to work. At least at the end you get the results, a good results, maybe for you and for your people around. Which is that's why I, I make it like a metaphor. But the, the the inspiration from the Malay proverbs, which is the MDM Okay, that's you, the reference. Yeah, that's the reference. I see. And yeah. because Yam Yam means quietly, yeah. secretly, right? Secretly. You, you you like you did something, no need to talk too much in like, <laughs> In, in the media or something, but professional will work with the results. 
this. For this. example, you ask me, uh, I'm an artist, but when you come to my studio, there's no work. Am I supposed to call my myself an artist? artist? Yeah, no, cannot. Yeah, cannot, right? Yeah. That's why I, I try to bring it something kind of very close to my heart, close to my life experience, and then I try to you know get connected to find the link to find a connection between me and nature. Actually, it's take a lot of years to um, you know to develop. Not like today I make abstract. Yes, tomorrow I make a semi a surrealist. Or kind of I I I develop the you know the time from time then until I finish. Uh, yeah, you you achieve. Yeah, you go in that direction. Yeah. You finish the direction, then you move again. Yeah, it's Some, true. It's yeah. not possible to relate your art to. It's not abstract. Yeah. It's not true. There's always this yeah. um, imprint of nature. This imprint of. But at the same time, it's not copy. Yeah. It's always there's this uh, surplus of imagination. Yeah. This so imprint. as you told me, um, you you engage in a different. Uh, a direction, you go into a certain direction, artistically speaking, of course, and you try be a bit abstract, be a bit expressionistic, but once you achieve what you, what you intended to do, you move on, you try something else, of course, you complete the process before beginning another one. But it's true, your art is not, it's not abstract art. Yeah. There's always an imprint yeah. of nature, right? There's always like a, a concrete element which yeah is there. It's not expressionist as well, yeah. it's very uh, singular approach yeah. what you have. How would you define your art if you look at your career? What, is, uh, what do you do as an artist? I think um, I can consider my art is uh, semi-abstract. Semi-abstract. semi-abstract because some people can understand, some people get the same um, background with me because uh, sometimes they are from village and then they can okay, recognize I can recognize it yeah. Yeah. some people cannot recognize what is this what is kind of these plants what is kind of the, you know the true, subject true. that I try to share it's true with there's you. a lot of hidden meanings yep. there's always you oftentimes you write on your paintings as yeah. well uh, on some of your landscapes for example like someone like uh, Anselm Kiefer would do for example yeah. his own uh, yeah. presence here um, so there's a lot of meaning and poems and yeah. sayings yeah. that talks about the, uh, the sayings. In, in it's, a it's a praying. <laughs> it's a praying. It's a prayer. Yeah. It's a prayer. Yeah, it's yeah. a prayer. I was put like prayer for myself, for my people around me, and then to make it like uh, some people can see from the visual and they can see the poems that I try to share with people around. Me. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah. of meaning. I wonder sometimes if it's not. A kind of surrealism that you do? Um, maybe it's maybe. like an unreal, uh, unusual landscape sometimes. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very um, because some of the work gets it's, it's so like, dreamy, it's so yeah, imaginative, yeah. it's yeah. so all the, the shapes are, are this morphed, are changed, are made bigger, are made um, uh, like something like Alice in Wonderland. Do you yeah. know? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this this huge mushroom, for example, or this germ, which is three meters high suddenly in reality it's not yeah. the size of a finger right yeah. so there's this kind of um, of uh, imaginative uh, power as an artist you still have yeah um, and maybe last but not least um, how do you see your career right now you are um, how to say you have achieved a certain level of recognition in Malaysia I, as an artist, you are quite famous. <laughs> that's that's for sure. Um, how do you do now? For um, are you planning on, on making your your work travel more? Are you planning to, to do more international yeah. exhibitions, uh, residencies? Yeah, that that is my aim actually. That's why we work with Velvet Gallery for 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 you know for our future plan. Maybe we can have like a program with uh, Europe. Because uh, normally I was exhibited in Southeast Asia, but yes. it's very hard for me to go to the international level. For yeah. example, in you, you did a few times, but you didn't yeah. have your, your first solo or yeah. big exhibition. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we will we will try to to make it happen for you. Of course. Yeah, sure. Yeah.
So, and, and we hope that this uh, online exhibition is going to be the first step. It's the whole world. Because we work with the, the Middle East, with, uh, with Europe, uh, the US a little bit as well. Yeah. Well, let's hope that we bring new, uh, sure. new people to yeah. appreciate your, your work, to see, to discover it. It's really, uh, in our opinion, uh, an artwork which is um, uh, worth sharing and, and showing. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very much for coming today. Thank you.